We were so fortunate to have Sony Electronics reach out to us to collaborate and listen to their sound bars and listening to how we can recreate that sound in the home environment. As a technologist and working with technology companies like Sony Electronics, what's really important is that the technology is used by artists to create story. We noticed that Adobe have the same vision, and our mutual goal is to bring that experience into a small SM soundbar. To the credit of Sony Electronics and their soundbars, that you can get this really great sweet spot that's immersive both around you and above you. The new Atmos format, it makes you have a 360 degree sound experience that we've never been able to have before in any cinematic environment. To bring the Dolby Atmos experience to more wider range of people, we Sony have been developing a new technology how we can make that happen. The vertical surround engine is new unique signal processing technology that can bring surround sound safe even from uh, front facing speakers. But what's really critical and important to consumers is that emotional reaction they get to that Atmos soundtrack when they listen to it at home. My reactions, I'm just amazed. It matched how we would mix a film and placed it in a home environment. It was, quite honestly, the best experience I've ever heard from three front drive amp speakers. And it's only going to get better as things like the Sony soundbars are released and create that experience because at the end of the day, it's not about technology. It's about moving consumers. If you're having audio connectivity issues with your soundbar, we are here to help. Follow these quick and easy steps to troubleshoot what may be going on with your soundbar and subwoofer. First, let's check to make sure your soundbar is properly plugged into your TV. Make sure the high-speed HDMI cable is plugged into the HDMI out port on the soundbar. And the other end is plugged into the EARC slash ARC port of the TV. And just as a reminder, your TV should be on. If you are still experiencing issues, you can run an AC power cycle for your soundbar and subwoofer. Simply unplug the power cables to both your soundbar and sub for one minute, then plug them back in. Once plugged back in, turn on the system like you normally would and play a TV show, movie, or song to ensure the audio is coming through correctly. If you're having trouble with your subwoofer disconnecting or having some distortion, you may want to test your subwoofer connection. You can test this by pressing Home on your remote, selecting Setup in the top right corner of the Home screen, System Settings, and then Wireless Subwoofer Connection. Here, you can customize your subwoofer transmission settings. Audio interference ranges from home to home, so you may need to do a little trial and error to see what settings work best for you. Under RF Band, you can choose from three frequency band options. Under RF channel, you can select from three different channels. So if you are finding your subwoofers having connectivity issues, here you can run through six different options to see what works best for your subwoofer. You can also test your subwoofer's connection with the secure link option. First, press the little secure link button on the back of the subwoofer. It is the smaller button. The subwoofer light should blink orange. Select Start once the button flashes. Secure Link will then run a connectivity test between the subwoofer and the soundbar. After 10 to 15 seconds, the test will be complete and should resolve any audio drop-off issues. We hope these steps have helped resolve any audio issues you may have been having with your soundbar and subwoofer, so you can enjoy this immersive sound experience. If you're still having issues, please visit sony.com support for additional help.